might be dinner for us. Here you go, Jen. So I completely forgot to film an intro. Um, when we first got out here, it was really, really slow, so didn't really uh, even get to filming an intro. But we're doing an intro now. We did catch a few fish. Um, we are gonna do a little catch, clean, and cook with what we caught today. Come on, bridge monster. There you go, Jen. There you go, Jen. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice, that's a nice mangrove, stud mango. The big mango. Flip it in. Oh, dude, that was like a 16 inch mangrove snapper. But that was a PB right there. Yeah. It was yeah. big, dude. That was definitely like for real. Definitely. That was like a 14 or 16 inch. Easy. Stud mango. Might be dinner for us. We don't have a net in the boat. We'll just flip them. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's a keep. Yes. We went getting off. Look at the colors on that guy. Check it out, guys. Decent mangrove snapper, probably about an 11 inch mangrove snapper. So we're back at the house, enjoying some beers. We're gonna go and uh, get these mangrove snapper on the fillet table. Gotta drink some beer, man. <laughs> All right, so make your first initial cut. Kinda angle it down in there. Don't worry about cutting down on the belly, but you gotta cut down to the backbone there. Once you get that far, if you can, try and get your blade. This is a little bit big of a blade for these little fish, but try and get your blade turned. Right now, this is really dangerous. Got my hand on the other side, but get that blade turned and then work it down. Follow that backbone. This is a good size little inshore mangrove snapper, though. for me to skin it this way and then you just keep the skin attached there work the fillet off we'll come back in a second get the belly bones and all that flip the guy over same process slice up turn it around and work your way down that backbone Again, leave the skin attached and just kind of follow through, keeping your blade parallel with the table. There you go. Next, you're just gonna kind of come in and get the belly bones gone. You can obviously see them and feel them. Nobody likes bones in their meat when they're eating fish, so come in there at an angle. Get those guys out of there. There we go. And flip her over. There's a little bit of a bloodline there. Too much. I'm going to hack that out of there. And there you go. Beautiful little mangrove snapper fillet. That's going to be dinner. There's our little pile of meat. That'll be dinner for us. Beautiful fillets. We'll see you guys back in the kitchen. So we're in the kitchen. We're gonna try something a little bit different today. Um, there's all types of way of cooking mangrove snapper. And I haven't really tried this recipe, but it looks really good. It's called a pineapple crusted mangrove snapper. Let's go and get started. Okay, so first we're gonna start with our sweet potato wedges. We already got them cut up into eighths. We're gonna go and drizzle some olive oil on top. Some salt. A little bit of pepper. And the star of the show, brown sugar. Mm. All right, go ahead and pop that in the oven. Make sure you're at 350 degrees. Pop it in there for about 45 minutes. All right, so we got all of our snapper plays laid out. Not the biggest snapper, obviously, but it's definitely gonna eat and taste the same. 
So first we're gonna take our olive oil, gonna coat the snapper, make sure to get it thoroughly coated just so your seasonings kind of stick. Once you got everything coated, go ahead and make sure to get your salt. Sprinkle salt and pepper on both sides. And we're gonna let that sit to the side. After that, we're gonna go and slide to the side, get our vegetables all diced up. A little bit of red peppers, yellow peppers, some onion. Get all that diced up, and we'll get that saute in here in a minute. Next, we're gonna slide over here to the skillet. We're gonna take our vinegar, a bit of lemon juice, and some brown sugar. We're gonna combine that and just stir that around. And we're basically just gonna cook that down just a little bit, probably a couple minutes or so. Just want it to reduce just a bit. All right, so we're gonna reduce heat a little bit and combine in our pineapple. Coconut milk. And last but not least, you got your vegetables, peppers, and onions. We're gonna reduce heat slightly and basically kind of let it simmer for about 10 minutes or so. Got our oil hot, we're gonna go and drop our fish down. Couple minutes per each side. We're gonna go and pull our fish off, transfer it over to this pan. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pour our pepper, onion, brown sugar mixture on top. Once we got that on top there, we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for five minutes next to the sweet potatoes. And we'll see you guys here in a minute. Timer just went off. These things smell and obviously seem like they are done. Take a look real quick. Oh yeah. I would say they're definitely oh, done. Oh yeah. And the main star of the show. Mangrove snapper. And there you guys have it. There it is. Looks good. Smells really good too. Alright Jen, go ahead and give it a shot. See how I did. See what you think. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna lose. Nice. Oh my gosh. All right, let me get a let me get a little try there. All right, my turn. Oh wow. Like a such a sweet, like a sweet chutney almost on it. Mmm, that's really good. Yeah. Give one of these guys a shot. <laughs> Mm. So good. That's good stuff right there. To be honest, that's probably one of the better ways I've ever had mango snapper. It's almost got like a sweet, tangy, like I said, like a chutney almost on top. Delicious. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'm glad you guys followed us along for our adventure today. I know it wasn't the best day, cost some mango snapper, but we did make a day out of it. 
So until next time, take it easy. Later.